Hello, I'm John Bateson. Welcome to my Spring 2021 Art Exhibition. I have a selection of pictures which I would like to share with you. If you would like to buy any of them, or after you've seen them, as a print or as an original, you can go to my website www.johnbatesonpaintings.co.uk where I have a page devoted exclusively to the exhibition. I hope you enjoy it. The Summer Collection, Pastel on Paper. I painted this picture two years ago, just at that time when the back part of our little garden is thick with white spring daisies. The other flower, right in the centre of the picture, is a yellow nasturtium, which was also growing wild. Together they looked like an ideal composition for a picture. Let's ride. Pastel on paper. For as long as I can remember, cycling is something that has been part of my life. And judging from the numbers of people I now see on the road, on their bikes, it is also becoming a popular way of getting around the place. More cycle riders means less cars and hopefully less pollution. This picture celebrates the enjoyment many get from taking to the roads on their bicycles, either on their own or in groups. Autumn apples, oil on paper. The apples in this picture were picked from an orchard in the grounds of an abbey on the Isle of Wight. When I finally got them home and put them in a bowl, they glowed with the same red and golden light that I had seen in the leaves of the trees. So instead of eating them, I decided to paint them. Two Angels, Oil on Paper. The inspiration for this piece is taken from a Dutch painter working in the early 16th century who produced a wonderful painting called The Adoration of the Kings. Included in this beautifully worked piece, he painted two angels looking down on the infant Jesus who are being visited by the three kings. African music, pastel on paper. The sight of the Ghanaian choir making music is one that you don't easily forget. Dressed in traditional costume, these men and women, singers and musicians, produce a tremendous sound. In this picture, I have tried to convey something of the energy and enthusiasm that the Ghanaian choir generates when they sing and make music. Sunflower and fruit. Gouache, pastel and charcoal on paper. On a walk last summer during lockdown, I came across a bunch of sunflowers all wrapped up and in perfect condition. They looked like they had been discarded, perhaps by someone who had decided they didn't like them or didn't know who to give them to. So I took them home, put them in a vase alongside some fruit and painted this still life on what was a very hot summer's day. Tulips and lemon, pastel on paper. Tulips are without doubt one of my favourite flowers. They come in such a spectacular array of colours. Here I have painted them with two lemons and some material that my late mother, who was also a painter, designed. Joseph's dream, oil on board. By all accounts, Joseph wasn't a dreamer. He was a carpenter, used to working wood. But when the angel did appear to him in a dream, telling him to leave Egypt with his wife and child and return to Israel, he didn't lose any time doing exactly what the angel said. This little picture tries to capture that strange encounter between the angel and a sleeping Joseph. 